Hey guys, uh, welcome to my new build. Uh, it's been a while because I've also been building on a uh, build for the Valheim competition that's going on right now on Twitter. Um, I've made something special for that, you can see it already on Twitter if you want to see it. But I'm going to make a video about it uh, after this. Some things about the Deep Nord I noticed uh, when I was building that I really don't like is that there's no snow on the roofs, even if it's snowing. And the rocks are green instead of snowy. Which I find kind of disappointing. I hope like small things like that they would have already added, but they haven't. So um, personally, I would I would say to people don't build in deep north because it's just it's just nothing. It's the only special thing here is the ice, but other than that, it's nothing special. But anyway, we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you guys what I've made. This is the main dock where they can offload all their goods. go up these stairs it's pretty pretty high which I like it's a uh, gives a feeling of safety so all the way up here so this is sort of the front gate front entrance that isn't really a gate but there's not really a gate in this build so I've made two of these towers they're pretty they're pretty simple um, but they're different from the towers I usually make which I really like so here are the first two houses Every house in this build is a one-story house. They're all really small, and that's because the idea of buying this build is that it's like a trading post uh, or like a little castle, and it's not like they have much space here, so nobody can really have like a big house. So down here, I have a little test house. So all the houses have stone fireplaces, like the, sort of like this. They're all a little bit different, and then they have like a they all have glass windows, so because it's so cold here like if you don't have glass you'll probably die in your sleep and then this is like the main entrance and the first thing you'll see when you enter is this little marketplace so here's a little food vendor or a baker it's a weapons vendor and here's a armor vendor then this way will lead up to the second house which is empty and this will also lead up to the second uh, front tower this enters to the other front tower, and this is a small house I made. I thought it looked really cool with the round fireplace, and it's all stone. Gives a bit of a dwarf feeling. And if you leave this little gate area, that sort of means that you've left the marketplace. So now you can go down here. And down here is the tavern, which is a really small tavern, as you can see. And down here is a little dock that can be used by uh, fisher people and uh, uh, people with smaller boats. This is more of the area where the normal people live. There's also a crafting area here where a blacksmith lives, because even in a remote place like this, there has to be like a blacksmith. And then this is the the back tower and this tower is a little bit different from the other two towers it got a little bit different roof um, I did that just to give it a little bit of a different vibe compared to the other ones and then if you walk around this is the last house which is really 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 small if you go down here there is a fire the idea about this fire is that the boats usually come from from this direction and like the first thing you see is like a big fire, so you know that there's like people living here. Now, let's go up to the Great Hall. So this is the Mead Hall. And the cool thing about this area is that this island was like a, had like a middle area that was higher than the rest. And it was pretty flat, so it was pretty easy to build on top of it. So we're gonna have a look at the Mead Hall. So I want to give this like grand entrance with a huge hallway with fire on both sides. So if you open up the front gate, this is the hallway and then you enter and then this is the meat hall where people can sit and drink and that's where the leader of the town, the Jarl or whatever, sits. So this is not my favorite build, it's actually one of my least favorite builds, but I did learn a lot. So I've 
thought of new ways to build structures, smaller houses, which is really cool. I thought of new fireplaces and new ways to use stone for that, which I'm really happy with. And I also really like the marketplace. I think stuff like that, even though they're not practical, they give a lot of life to, an, to a build or to an area. So I'm going to use those things more in the future. But for now, uh, this is it. This is my build. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'm going to make a video about the building competition. Uh, I made a... It's different than what I saw other people do, but it's still complex. But it's not it's not huge like this. It's smaller. If you want to see it now, you can go to Twitter. I got four photos there. But I'm if you don't want to see photos, if you want to see a video, uh, just wait a couple days and I'll probably have it done. Anyway, for now, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.